Well, it's a question that's been asked a lot during campaign 2016. What does and what should the Republican Party stand for? Well, that's what Indiana Republicans have been traveling around the state trying to answer. Tonight, they were in Elkhart. WSBT 22's Patrick Roth is at the live desk. And Patrick, both parties do this every couple of years, but it's a little more interesting this year for the Republicans. Yeah, Rick, a lot of things considered staples for both parties for a long time have pretty much turned upside down this year. And here in Indiana, there's a huge debate about what role social issues should play. You love Indiana, right? The Hoosiers. The Hoosiers. Well, this was going on in Indianapolis. Every Sunday Something a little more low-key, but arguably just as important, was happening in Elkhart. Well, this meeting is the third of three field hearings we as a platform committee are holding around the state to take input on uh, what our platform should look like this year. It's a chance for Republicans across the state to say what they think the party should stand for in 2016. And as you might expect, there's a lot of different opinions. I'm here tonight to talk to the state GOP um, about the issue of racial reconciliation. I think it is something that is critical in our country today. My biggest uh, thing is, is individual liberty and, and, and trying not to put liberty in boxes. Not only were there a lot of opinions, but after a year that saw a lot of protests in Indiana, there were also a lot of disagreements especially on social issues. We ought to at least acknowledge how important it is to provide our children in our state as much as feasible, as much as possible, to encourage mother-father homes. I have a long history in the party. I believe strongly that limiting the definition of family is a critical error in the state of Indiana. While there are disagreements between various wings of the Republican Party in Indiana, Republicans say that there's more that unites them than divides them. We're, what we're having is a family conversation where we have these hearings, and uh, it's not unlike a family who might disagree sitting around their kitchen table or in their living room respectfully and listening to each other and, and sharing their sincerely held opinions. Ultimately, a committee of party officials, including Elkhart Mayor Tim Neese, will write a platform that will be voted on at the state convention in June. And Democrats here have a similar process when it comes to writing their platform. At the Live Desk, Patrick Roth, WSBT 22 News.